morning. It is very chilly. The deck is frozen, so I don't fall. Good morning, is it peer peer weather? Those guys have been yelling for like an hour. Jeremy left to go help his dad install some fire alarms. They were replacing them all, all the smoke detectors this morning. He left maybe half hour ago, and they've been yelling ever since he left. Makes me happy to see my milk standing here. Got Fernie's medicine, hoping she's okay this morning. I put Pixie in with her last night overnight. We're still standing up, so that's good. Um, just to keep help keep her warm. It was cold, it was like 25. Hello, very grumpy pig. So we're gonna give her her shot. I'm gonna let Pixie out with the rest of the herd and keep her, still keep her pinned up. We're gonna do a, a check on her, check on Tootie. We're gonna get everybody breakfast first. It's so noisy. Are you guys so noisy? Mostly? Yes. Are you barking at me? Just a, just a little bit. It'd be really nice if you had babies early. It's gonna be very cold next weekend. So can we have them in the next couple of days? It'd be nice. It'd be nice if we can have them in the next couple of days. Yeah, it's, it's, it's breakfast. Okay, mom's gonna get you breakfast. Can you get all these guys breakfast? Ready? Let's get going. this morning than yesterday. I haven't given her her anti-inflammatory. She's sniffing the food. I let Pixie out because Pixie wasn't eating and so I wanted her to see if she would eat if I took the distraction of mom away from her. I just don't like how she's looking today. We're gonna give her the shot of anti-inflammatory and see if that will help. Her just kind of perk up a little bit better today. She doesn't look like cold, she, she just looks sick. She ate hay all day yesterday and that seemed to be what she wanted instead of like feed. Just want it to be available for her because there's a lot more energy and nutrients in the alfalfa pellets and the grain than there is in just that grass hay. We'll give her some nutri drench today. We'll give her some probiotics to help with all those antibiotics that she got yesterday. We're just gonna do everything that we can. Good morning, fellas. Good morning. what bowl to eat out of today. They can't. What about you guys? We're ready for breakfast, Mom. We're always ready for breakfast. Mom needs to go in and hang the hay bag back up out here. refill 
their hay bag today because pork chop stole all the hay out of it to make a bigger nest because pigs. Colder today, but not like a whole lot colder than it was yesterday. The high is like 40. Yesterday it was like 45, so definitely chillier, but not, not significantly so. Here, Toonie. She's ready to be let out. You're bumping around in her stall. She gets frustrated and she tries to lift the stall up, which is hilarious. Are you ready to come out? You guys are so worried about these doors. They open both ways. Oh, she's chased her bowl under there where she can't get it. I'm gonna get it for you. Is that better? There's just a few pellets left. I still picking up crumbs. Oh, here's the Freeman. That sounds terrible. That sounds terrible. And no, you're not feeling good, are you? Oh, it's so terrible. I took Dory, you don't feel good. I took Dory. Oh, I know that throat. It's a bad spot. That's a steroid, so I'm sure it burns. Just like when you and I would get a, a steroid. I just do not like the way she looks today, guys. Um, this is definitely worse. She's very, very thin. So I'm just gonna give her some probios because the um, Animox are hard on their rumen and then just some Nutri-Drench. I've given her the Nutri-Drench before. She hates it, which is weird because most of the goats love it and will chase you around to have it because they give it to everybody when they're kidding. Tell me feel better. All the medicines that we're on. Yep. All right, let's try this. Put it in your mouth. I know mom is wearing it out, isn't she? Our little girl sits. This is trying to do all the things. Because I know her throat is really swollen, um, I'm just putting that on her tongue, not like down in the back of her mouth. Like I'm putting it right at the front. She could have spit it out if she wanted to, but she has to swallow it. Instead of me kind of putting it back further in her mouth, I'm just really afraid she'll choke or breathe something in at this point. I've had goats totally off feed and have sustained them on the nutri drench for several days. It is that high nutrients. Well, I wanted to give you a little belly update on Toonie, but we are gonna have to wait until later until she's done scrounging around for extra breakfast. Um, she's made it clear that she doesn't want me to touch her. We are loosening more and more. You know, her vulva is definitely way more swollen than it has been. We're kind of waiting on her belly to drop and for her to get her milk. And that'll be when we know we're looking at in the next 12 to 24 hours, we're gonna have piglets. Wow, he just burped in my face and it was really gross. It was. We're about a week out of where I think her due date was. So we're just kind of waiting on those things to happen. This one, I would love to develop some udder. Oh, hi. We're a little bit more swollen in the udder today than we were yesterday. Maybe she just only has one baby this year. She has scattered her straw from everywhere. So I've got to go get another bale for her. You guys can kind of see how swollen we're getting back there. My parents are moving into the little yellow house today and they're driving a truck up from Mississippi. We're gonna be over there this afternoon doing that, but I promise I'll get you guys an update before dinner on this one. Hopefully I'll take my camera over to the other house and we'll look at calves this afternoon. So I'm happy in today's not so great video. Are you wild? Yes. Have a nice day. Stay out of the way of the angry pig. We're gonna try to get a look at Chinny. Now that it's been a minute. I really just want to get a good a good look at her belly. Can you lay down? 
There we go. Definitely nice and big still. Not seeing any milk. So let's talk a little bit about what I'm looking for every day to lead up to farrowing. Things like restlessness, building a nest for sure. But when we're looking for, to have piglets in the next 24 hours, I'm looking for her to let her milk down. I'm looking for her belly to drop. And then once that happens, we'll start watching her a little bit more closely for like fluid and the early stages of labor. So right now I'm not really concerned that she's gonna go into labor anytime soon until those things happen. And so that's why every day I'm trying to get her down so I can look at her belly, which just seems to get more and more massive every day. And she seems to be getting grumpier and grumpier every day. And I don't know if that is a sign. I'm really surprised she's not out eating, but she's not. She's burying up in here in the straw and staying warm and sleeping. Since this is my first time farrowing, I'm trying to be very careful watching her, just learning her, and also still trying to continue to build this relationship with her. Hello, Zelda. When the time comes, we're all on the same team. There's a, a kitty in the hay. Can you guys move? Yeah, like you guys don't all need to be in here. We've gotten all the furniture moved in and the boys have gone to return the truck. So let's go count some baby calves. Let's do something fun today. Fern had perked up just a little bit when I left. She was kind of up and looking and watching everybody and I want you guys to see the next chief look alike and babies make everybody happy. Is 228 really gonna come after me again? This cow, we are not friends. Her baby's like way over there. Go away. I don't even have to look at your baby. So we need to find Elsie to see if she's getting close. She's our last one. I don't know what this is about. This cow's very confrontational all of a sudden. I really don't want to walk through this swamp. Like, can we just not? Do we just keep walking? I really don't want to be knocked into the pond. Where's your calf? It's over there. Like, why are we having a standoff? We also have a goose family, which is really cool. Like, there's some baby geese out here because there's no longer a dog that lives here. I have no desire to be chased by a cow, so I guess we'll walk around. So Red had her calf. I told you guys that in a video, and it looks just like Chief Xever has a big spot on its nose. <coughs> Y'all, like, I don't know what her deal is. Maybe it's these geese. Here she goes. She chased me. Y'all, this is just stupid. Like, so stupid. Like, I could have walked that way. If this is her baby, not been anywhere close to it. This was the one we were waiting on that day. There's Mabel's little one. It's more of a brown. I think this one is my favorite one because it's like real curly and fluffy like Mabel is. You're just a cutie. black spots on its eyes that you guys haven't seen. A cow that has yet to calf, our last one. I have our two brown ones and 789's calf, which is the calf that one day, a couple weeks ago, when Jeremy and Tommy out here, were out here feeding hay with me, kind of strange. Our other chief look alike. He was so fresh, he hadn't even stood up when I was out here before. He's pretty cute. That's their newest one. No Super Bowl babies this year. There's Chief Roni.
moving my parents into the little house and it's after dark and it's halftime of the Super Bowl. So I am gonna get these guys fed. We'll get one last checkup on Fernie for the day. And uh, Jenny Piggle still looks the same that she did. She's very hungry. This is very cranky because she's hungry. Yes, you are, aren't you? Say dinner is late. Mom, I'm not a happy pig. So let's get everybody fed and put to bed. there was some food in here and she's eating up storm. So that's a good sign. That's probably the most I've seen her take interest in food all day. We've been gone since about 1.30, it's about 6.30. Haven't seen her in a few hours. This looks immensely better than she did this morning. What scares me more than anything is when they stop eating. But I brought them back. Daisy was completely off feed for almost a week. Daisy got a real bad infection from being pregnant, but this, this makes me happy. Trying to keep in mind that the vet said to not expect any improvement for at least three to five days. Hello. What are you doing? 